What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl McKay. If this is your first time coming to my channel, stop what you are doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this is your second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever time coming to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. I am so appreciative of y'all. And I just wanna say, before we even get into anything else, we are past 900 subscribers. Like, let's just take a second. I started this, this channel in January of 2019, and we are past 900 subscribers, like, on the road to 1K. Like, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Which is why it's very important that you subscribe if you are not subscribed yet already. All right, so I'm done chit-chatting, and we're just going to get right into this video. In today's video, I am going to show y'all things that I brought back from Ghana. I brought so many clothes, accessories, um, custom-made things, store-bought things, and I just want to show y'all all the cute things that I got. Cause like I've been like I posted some pictures with some of the outfits that I'm about to show y'all and y'all really like them. So I just wanted to kind of explain the pieces, show y'all the fabric, tell you how much it was and stuff like that. I am going to start off with a few little accessories and we're gonna get to the clothes. So the first thing is this is a suitcase hold, like tag i guess you could say so i put this on my suitcase i was interning it at an ngo and my kids gave this to me on my last day and it was so sweet so i put this on the handle of my suitcase and obviously like the african print i know exactly like this is this is mckay's suitcase and then i got this headband it's pink and green i'm a youtuber now so let me <laughs> i don't even know how to do this but this is a pink and green headband the next item is literally one of my favorite items like when i tell y'all i went everywhere with this bag in accra like everywhere this is a bag that has the Ghanaian flag on it i got this at yeah at a stationery store i was buying some school supplies at the beginning of the semester and i saw this bag and i was like oh i want it and i used it so much and it's honestly like a deep bag so like yeah I just I used it so much I love it and it's made of really really good material like it's a very strong bag and I just love to show people that like I went to Ghana like here's my bag <laughs> so the next piece is these custom-made pants so basically in Accra they have um, markets where a whole bunch of people are selling so many fabrics so I went to go buy fabric so if I say this is custom-made that means that I went to the market I bought the fabric went to the seamstress and told her exactly what I wanted. She measured me and like made it fit, like to fit my body. Um, I have not worn these pants yet, like out, but I love them. I love the fabric so much. I got pants and a bandeau made out of this, and I got a dress made out of it, which goes to show that I really like the fabric. So it's blue and orange, and like these little things remind me of like peacock fe feathers, I guess. So that's the main pattern that goes all throughout the pants. Um, it's like it goes right to the waist and I love these because they have pockets I didn't even ask her to put pockets, but like when I saw that I was like, oh my god um, And then it zips in the back So yeah, these were made for me and they're just straight leg I wanted them to be straight leg because I want to wear these with high heels and I think that a straight leg with high heels is just so so cute This is the top that goes with it. So basically it's like a bra type of thing bralette i don't know what you want to call it but it um straps in the back and it has three orange buttons that the seamstress did for me and then you just clip it with the three hooks it's so cute so that's that and i would just wear it like this oh my god this skirt i bought in osu on oxford street if you go to accra I'm sure you're gonna go to Osu. Make sure you go to Oxford Street. There are a whole bunch of people selling like clothings and stuff. You gotta bargain with them because they will try to, you know, up the price, say that it's more expensive than what it actually is. And that was something that I had to deal with. I was like, uh uh, I know how much this is supposed to be. Give it to me for this price. Like, I would start real low and just make them work, like, work their way to what it's actually worth. Um, cause they would start off with pretty high prices and I'm just like, no. Um, but I got this skirt. I wish I wasn't sitting down, but I got this skirt. Um, it's 
stretchy on the waist it was not custom made so i really like that it's stretchy because basically it can fit anybody and then it has two straps i tie it in the front or you can tie it in the back honestly since the straps are at the sides it's super cute the fabric is like red yellow and white and black consistency and there's just like a whole bunch of stuff going on there are like um like these little i would say they're like eyes and then this design and that design but it's so cute and i will say in ghana it is very hot so this fabric is pretty like heavy duty like all the fabrics basically are pretty like heavy duty and like kind of like not thick but like they're just like very good fabric so i was very hot in this skirt that was also very cute so so y'all have seen me in pictures with this particular outfit on i did a photo shoot with one of my best friends jodana um, if you have not seen the photos, go to my Instagram, AK McKay, and check those photos out because they are fire. So I got these pants custom made, once again, by the same seamstress. This one is a little skinnier on the bottom than the other blue ones. Um, and I just really love this fabric and this pattern. Um, it's like blue, green, orange, yellow, and it's honestly so beautiful. So those are the pants, the outfit, and then I made this off-the-shoulder top. So basically it's kind of like this top that I'm wearing. So it's off the shoulder and it goes about to like mid, I guess like after mid arm and it's a flared sleeve. I particularly asked for a flared sleeve because I just wanted to be a little extra with this shirt. Um, I wanted it to like be really, really cute. And honestly, like at the photo shoot, I felt like very beautiful in this outfit, I guess. Um, and it's a crop top. So yeah, and then it has a zipper on the back. Oh my god, y'all, these pants are so cute. When I tell you. They're so freaking cute. So this I got from Osu on Oxford Street. So this pattern is like, I don't even know. I think this is like a vase or something. I, I don't even know what you would call it. And then there's like these circles. It's um blue and like a coral. But this blue is more like a tur turquoise. And then it has yellow and then like this coral color inside of it. Once again, the waist is stretchy and then it has the straps on the side. They're so flared. Like, look how big one pant, <laughs> one pant leg is. Like, so, so cute. I would totally wear this with like high heels and like a cute, like even like a cute, simple white shirt, white crop top, but super cute. Love the pattern and love the colors. I think it's like so bright and just like very, I don't know cute and the fact that like it has um a stretchy waist i really like i like those a lot i don't like when i feel too like restricted in my pants so this dress i got custom made and it is off the shoulders again this is the back so the back has a zipper the fabric is purple blue and black and it's literally just these circles all around the entire dress oh so these pants are like the the coral and turquoise and yellow ones that I just showed y'all. It's literally the same exact thing, just a different pattern. So this one is purple, black, and yellow. And I really love like a purple lavender-y, like this is kind of like a pinkish purple, but I love this color so, so much. So this is the fabric, once again, flared pants. It has like flowers and circles. It's so funny showing y'all things like this. I look like a potato. <laughs> and then this also has a stretchy waist and it has a zipper. Um, so I haven't, I've tried it on, it was comfortable, but I haven't worn it anywhere yet. Once again, it's like so hot, like long things like these and just like the fabric, I can't wear it right now. And then it has straps for your waist to like tie. I would tie it in the front. I think that's such a cute look. And then the bottom is like wide open. It's like so wide leg. I love it, love it, love it. But yep. These are the pants. They're super duper cute. And then I got, so basically when you get fabric, you can get a lot, a little, whatever. So most of these things that are custom made, I got like six yards worth of, which is about like two to three pieces of clothing that you can make out of them, depending on what you're making. So six yards was 60 CDs. So it was 10 yards, I'm sorry, 10, 10 CDs per yard. So it was $12 to like buy fabric to make two or three outfits. And then obviously you pay the seamstress to make the outfit, but still like so cheap compared to like, if you were to get something custom made in America, 
I don't even know how much it is because I've never done that because I'm like, it would be too expensive. So me and my friends, we racked up on the clothing and got them. Also, they're freaking beautiful. Like this is so authentic and beautiful. And like, why wouldn't you just like get your clothes? I don't know. I was just like, I'm going to make everything. <laughs> so this is a skirt. I really like this. I've worn this. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram. So go ahead, AK McKay, and um, go find this skirt. I paired it with just a white tank top. I feel like with these fabrics, like you can really just pair it with something so simple because like it speaks for itself, you know? So I didn't need to like pair it with a extravagant shirt or anything. Simple white crop top, put on some black heels, and we were good to go. So this dress so cute this is not custom made it is bought i bought it at the same place that i bought the pants on oxford street it's a dress it stretches completely like the entire dress is stretchy all the way down and i love this because like basically anybody can wear it because it's not restricted it stretches everywhere so this is the front it goes straight down and it has these little like ruffles on the bottom of it and the fabric is like green black and blue for the most part and yellow how do i forget the yellow or like an orange this is more like an orange okay and then this next dress i got actually these two little dresses that i'm about to show y'all so cute i got them for my little sisters i can't wait to give it to them but basically this is the first one it's pink and blue like basically all over um and a little bit of red it has like fla a floral design and some other stuff honestly i don't really know what to make of these things but they're so cute and it's just a little dress this one i can show you all the whole thing at once because it's so tiny but it's so cute it's for my little sisters and it has like a little ruffled arm i think this is the cutest little thing this one is like orange black blue and like a little bit of a red like a very dark red it's so cute as well it's literally the same exact design i'm so, yeah same design just a different pattern different colors it's so cute i love little clothing i think it's like the cutest thing so the last piece of clothing that i'm about to show y'all this one is like you can't mess with me when i'm in this and i have a fire picture of this dress on instagram but this is a halter dress i got it custom made this is the exact same fabric as the pant and the bandeau um i cannot show you this entire dress because it is just way too big like that's how extravagant it is um but i wore this to a ghanaian wedding when i was in accra i'm like so happy that i got to experience a ghanaian wedding in ghana it was so much fun so i wore this dress to a wedding like that's the type of occasion that i would really wear this to because it's like so like delicious i don't know i felt like a princess in this freaking dress i felt so cute i paired it with some black heels so it's a halter dress this is the top i really want to show y'all this like entire thing but i literally can't it's so big but the cute thing about this dress is that it has a slit so it gives you a little sexy you know you know and it's like fitted on the top like up to like your mid belly and then it just like poof and that's exactly what i wanted like the seamstress gave me exactly what i wanted i envisioned this dress and i got it and it's so beautiful so in osu on oxford, oxford street again like when i tell y'all i was just on there on that street like trying to just get all of my family members things literally like it was crazy i had to keep going back it was insane but basically i got custom made bracelets for some of my family members their names are made out of red yellow and green and then it has the ghana flag on it i think it's so cute and it's adjustable so like you can um stretch it to make it um what is it the, the wrist size of the person and then you can tighten it back just by pulling on these but i'm not gonna pull because i haven't even like messed with these so but yeah i think they're so cute and it has the ghana flag on it like it's so cute and then i have two waist beads that i just wanted to show y'all let me just say in america they tax for waist beads like literally a waist bead is like i think like two cds which is like 50 cents or 20 or like 30 cents i don't even know but like literally i know that they sell them for like ten dollars a piece here absolutely not 
So <laughs> this one, this way, one way speed is like pink, and then this one is just like a very like white and like very, 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 very light blush pink. This pair of earrings I actually did not get in Ghana, but I wanted to include them. I got these from Sao Tome. Sao Tome is on like the Gulf of Guinea. Um, it's like south of Nigeria. I'll probably put some sort of map or something on the screen to show y'all. But I went to Sao Tome for spring break. I also have a video on that. So go ahead and check that vlog out. But I got these earrings. They're like so cute. I think that you could just wear them like anywhere. You really could wear these anywhere. But I want to wear them like somewhere where I'm going to have to like dress up or whatever. Um, they were 8 euros. So that's like... So obviously in Sao Tome they use euros and I bought these at the airport. So obviously they were much more expensive than I'm sure they would have been, but I really I like them. They're so cute. Look at them. Um, and then I wanted to show y'all the currency in Ghana because I just thought that would be cool. I have like some money left over that I completely forgot to exchange, but I am planning on making another trip back to Ghana, so I've just been like keeping them. This is the 50 CD. I was gonna say $50 bill. 50 CD, and then on the back is some castle. I can't make out which one, and I don't want to say the wrong one but this is what it looks like I don't know if y'all can see that too well and then it has six men on the front I know one is Kwame Nkrumah I honestly cannot remember the other ones but like they're important political figures and then right here is the cocoa um, Ghana is very famous for their chocolate so 10 CD the six men again they I think I'm pretty sure they're on every single bill yeah yeah Cause there are five CDs. There are not. There aren't twenty CDs. Wait, yeah. I think I. I can, honestly can't remember. I don't think there's a twenty CD like a bill. But the six men are on there again. And then the back is another building. And then this is the one CD. This looks like some like water. I can't make out what these images are. If y'all know, comment down below exactly like what are these images on the bill. Um. And then the six men once again and it has the star here on the left so that's basically all I have honestly for this video I hope that y'all enjoyed please 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 give it a big thumbs up before you go hit that subscribe button once again if you are not subscribed already we are on the road to 1k I'm so excited y'all like so 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 excited and when we hit 1k I made this announcement on my Instagram I am doing a giveaway it's either going to be something from this or just something else that I come up with. But once I hit 1K, so tell your family, your friends, everybody, go subscribe to McKay Media. Thank you guys so much for like the endless, endless support. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes, everything. Like this means so much to me. Like I am so happy that y'all are actually enjoying my videos. And I hope you like this one. Once again, give it a thumbs up, go ahead and comment and hit that bell button so that way you get notified every single time I upload a video. Just before you go, I want you to know that I think you are so needed in this world and I want you to believe that you are amazing, you are needed. So please continue to be the amazing self that you are. Please continue to be great and continue to grow and just like manifest into whoever it is that you wanna be. You're doing so, so amazing and I'm so proud of you. So thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Hit that subscribe button once again. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. But that's it, y'all. I love you so much. Thank you so much for rocking me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.